So the biodome is part of the Olympic Stadium. It has like five different basically environments or bios. Um, it smells like fish. So the Espace pour la Vie Montréal and Google Translate probably said a lot better than I did, has five ecosystems and the first one that we went into was the sub-Antarctic islands. Oh, it's cold! Oh, it's ice, man! Leave it on there! Oh god, it hurts! See? The rock formation that you see in the sub-Antarctic islands is basalt. The Montreal Biodome is one of the few zoological institutions in America where the northern rock hopper has been able to reproduce with success. The day length in this ecosystem follows the cycle specific to sub-Antarctic regions, so they actually make artificial daytime nighttime with the lights in there so that the animals can continue their normal cycle they're so tiny i didn't know about them oh my god that one just pooped in the water oh. Oh. did you see it yeah <laughs> Ew, it's traveling <laughs> The penguins that they have at this environment is the king penguin and the northern rockhopper. The northern rockhopper has the crown of yellow and black feathers behind the eyes and they kind of make a laughing sound. The other two species that they have here is the gentoo penguin and the macaroni penguin. And the macaroni penguin is the one with the long yellow feathers that are like sticking out of its head. next ecosystem that we went into is the tropical rainforest ecosystem. They have animals here like caimans, capybaras, striped tiger catfish, red-tailed catfish, pakus, blackfin brycons. They have hundreds of fish including piranhas and other animals like poison dart frogs and reptiles such as anacondas, other amphibians such as golden panama frogs and martinique robber frogs. Year round, they're able to keep the temperature steady from 25 to 28 degrees Celsius during the day to 21 to 22 degrees Celsius at night, and the humidity at least 70 to 80 percent. They even have monkeys such as golden lion tamarins. These tropical rainforests mimic rainforests of the Americas, Africa, and Asia. They have hundreds of plants and animals. The rainforest ecosystem occupies an area of 2,600 square meters, and to reproduce as closely as possible to the natural environment of this ecosystem, they have to use artificial lighting to make it possible to adjust the length of the day and the intensity of light in order to mimic what rainforests actually go through throughout the year, so that these animals and plants can thrive. Go jump, go! Catch a video of them flying. 
They have all kinds of birds, such as callistas, ebees or ibees, and macaws. Oh, it's cold. The next ecosystem that we went into was the Laurentian Maple Forest. The Laurentian Maple Forest is supposed to be mimicking a typical Quebec forest. There's lynx in there, as well as beavers. They have several species of fish, frogs, turtles, and birds. They even try to mimic what these typical forests would look like with a mature forest, a mountain stream, beaver pond, and a swamp. The main deciduous and coniferous trees in the Laurentians include the sugar maple and yellow birch, and even fir and white spruce. The humidity in this forest is from 45 to 90 percent. The next environment that we went into is the Gulf of St. Lawrence. The Gulf of St. Lawrence is supposed to be another Quebec landscape, but shows you the underwater life of Quebec landscapes and includes 15 species of fish, including sturgeon, cod, striped bass, salmon, and even rays, which was shocking to me that Canada and Quebec has rays. Wow. The Gulf of St. Lawrence ecosystem is about 1,600 square meters. The relative humidity is 60 to 70 percent in the summer and 25 to 30 percent in the winter. In summer, it's 20 degrees Celsius during the day and 14 degrees Celsius at night, and in the winter, 10 degrees Celsius during the day and 6 degrees Celsius at night. The Gulf of St. Lawrence ecosystem includes 2.5 million liters of seawater, salt water, that's produced on site. They have seagulls, guillemots, terns, and all kinds of other birds that fly around those cliffs. There's starfish, anemones, anemones, anemones. Anemones, sea cucumbers, waved whelks, sea urchins, and crabs. The last ecosystem that we went into was the Labrador Coast. The Labrador Coast was very small and to the point, but there's lots of puffins and murres that flew around and lots of rock formations to represent what the Labrador Coast looks like. 